If you know how to code, or you even know source mod, or coding within source mod, please contact me, because I could always use more hands in this project. This video will showcase a lot of the changes that I did for the high GPS balance mod, as well as some generic gameplay showcasing each of the weapons. All of these changes are subject to change, so please check the change log in the document in the description below to stay updated on the latest stats and changes. The Babyface's blaster has been changed to have lower jump height but faster run speed. I was never really happy with the old design using the meter for the Babyface's blaster, so this is the design instead. So it still has the clip uh, reduction and it also has a 15% slower reload rate. Here you can see the difference of what 10% movement speed is like. The original design, you were running a lot slower and you had this meter that would build up your speed and you would actually run a whole lot faster than the scout could possibly run at the fastest speed as well. The meter would also build from other kinds of weapons, which I'm not too fan of. And also the meter would also disappear if you took damage or you jumped, so counterintuitive. I wasn't fully able to increase the projectile speed of the bison and the pompson, so instead it just has faster firing speed and uh, heal beams will deliver the damage. So if you hit the pyro, you hit the medic, and if you hit the medic, you hit the pyro. If you hit both of them, you do double damage. Many of the Pyro's melee unlocks are utter garbage, so there's been a big uh, change here. So right now the Hot Hand is now the new power jack in terms of movement, so it will only have the aspects of running faster and taking more damage. The slapping mechanic is still present, allowing you to go faster while you go faster. The power jack is now purely health restored on kill weapon, and it restores quite a bit too, and it also overheals. 
So this is for Pyros that likes to just have uh, a melee weapon that they use for a single hit finisher to regain a lot of health and combo and tank further. The Neon Annihilator is now the Killing Gloves of Boxing just for the Pyro. It does less damage, but it will guarantee only 2 seconds of crits. The crits also carries over to other weapons. The Sharpened Volcano Fragment is now something in between the old Extinguisher and the new one, just without the speed boost. So you will now mini crit targets that's on fire and they will also light on fire when you hit them and as you can see a single hit after burn lasts quite a while. The Homewrecker has now been giving a pushback resistance while you're holding it, thus allowing you to move forward under center fire a lot more easier and also navigate through chokes. Kind of like a power jack except for only viable when you're taking damage and getting pushed back. Does not apply to air blast though. The Natasha has gone through a total rework where the old stats are completely gone. So now it functions almost the same as a regular minigun except that you gain a speed boost on hit and it does 15% less damage. Speed boost doesn't last for very long and also you're heavy so you're not that much faster. However, this gives you some tech and some incentivized to use some mobility on the least mobile class in Team Fortress 2 and it can probably be combined well with killing gloves or boxing or maybe shotgun or something if you jump down slopes and stuff like that. So this should allow you to, to do something. It's also still the weakest damage-wise of all the miniguns. The Bison and the Pumpson are now identical. The Pumpson no longer drains any kind of cloak or ubru from anybody. Still penetrates and it just shoots faster. I would like the projectiles to move faster, but I need a coder for that. The Vitasa has also gotten a complete rework, focusing on health restoration for the medic. I ideally, I wanted to work like the crossbow where it will heal teammates on hit as well. However, the crossbow is hard coded and it's not something I've been able to make work with the balance mod yet. So if you're a coder or something and you know how to do this, feel free to share. The Blood Sager was one of those weapons that you hardly ever used just because it gave you shorter health region and you wouldn't use it as much. So here I tried to do something with it, I'm still not sure what to do with it, so I decided to give it a lot faster weapon switch. That means you can combo with the other weapons you have a lot more, especially when you're using Uber like this by yourself and switching back and forth like this.
striker. After the Ambassador nerf, the Ambassador is currently in a garbage state. We've been through several iterations of the Ambassador in this balance server, none of them had felt right until now. Right now it is 100% accurate, so I wanted to design this so it would reward people with good aim, which was the old Ambassador using Spice. While still not giving them the crazy amount of burst damage that they had in the past, they now have this really reliable stream of damage that they can do any range, and I feel like this is more fair for both the people shooting and the people getting shot. So that was all the changes showcased. I hope you know what you're in for now. So here's just some basic gameplay throughout the rest of the video where I just use this weapon against bots. And these bots will of course join the server and start up whenever you join the balance server. So if you want to test these weapons up by yourself and you don't have any friends to join you, uh, feel free to join and then give them a test. Uh, the bots aren't creating the best experience, but they do have pretty good aim.
killing you is full-time job.